Hello everybody! You ready for some excitement? Because I am here by finally announcing the registration for my second Pokemon Battle Revolution Metronome Tournament are officially open. I want to use this video to explain what I'm going to do, what exactly the rules will be, how you can sign up, how you can choose your team, because there are limitations this time, and how the entire tournament's going to run. So I'm going to start off just giving you a bunch of information. Um, and if you have any questions, of course, just post them in the comments, and I'll try to clarify it as best as I can. Uh, what I also intend to do is give you two example teams that fit within the rules to give you an idea of what you could do, but obviously there's a... 493 Pokemon to choose from, excluding forms, so there's a lot that you can really do. And then I was just running you through all the questions to show you what, uh, like, to get you through the entire Google form that you want, have to fill in to get into the tournament. So what are we going to do? We're going to do 16 participants. I wish I could do 32, but I don't think there's 32 battle passes on Battle Revolution, otherwise I'd make it 32. But, yeah, the, there's going to be 16 participants, so it's going to be a first-come, first-serve thing. If you're a person 17 to sign up, unfortunately, you cannot participate. So if you're interested in joining, join quickly. All Pokemon in this tournament are going to know Metronome. In terms of how this the battles itself are going to be run, outside of the team choice, it's going to be the same as I've done my Metronome battles for a long time. So just like Battle is 205. Where I did Porygon and his evolution versus Porygon, uh, Shiny Porygon and his evolutions. Like in two videos from now is, I believe, video 209. Pichu and his evolutions versus Shiny Pichu and his evolutions. Similar like that. They don't normally learn Metronome, but they can. Any Pokemon can be in this tournament. Arceus, Waylord, Wormpull, Mewtwo, whatever you want. I control all Pokemon. So even though, like I know my partner, uh, Not Your Average Tenor, will be in the tournament. They have chosen their team, but I still control it. But I control them according to a set rule to keep it fair for everybody. I just press m metronome, and they never switch. Basically. So, you can just watch your team play. Because it's random. That that helps me organize it. It helps me uh, record. It's all going to be double battles, just like my metronome uh, battle videos. As I said, there will be no switching. So, if a Pokemon gets hit by Toxic... Too bad if a Pokemon gets hit by Parish Song, it's gonna go down in three turns. Unless it luckily hits U turn, I guess. But normally, no. In case of a forced switch in a battle, such as Whirlwind or U turn, the Pokemon that switches out goes to the back of the line. And I say back of the line because the Pokemon will be sent out in order of how they are on the battle pass. So if it is, let's say, Wurmple, Silcoon, Beautifly. Then Wurmple and Silcoon will always go first, and then Beautifly. You'll never have Beautifly before Silcoon um, in how they're being sent out. The only way that happens is if Whirlwind is used and a random thing comes out. In that case, the Pokemon that was sent away, let's say Silcoon is sent away, Silcoon goes to the back of the line, and then the rest is in order as much as possible. So we have 16 participants in this tournament, and I'm going to divide them up into four random groups of four. So once I have the 16 people... I'll probably make a video show, hey, I'm going to randomly put them in four different groups. Group A, Group B, Group C, Group D. The best two from each group will advance to the next stage. Everyone within their group will face all other opponents once. So you'll have three, um, three matches minimum. And then if you're in the top two out of your group, you advance a single elimination in the second stage. So eight people will remain. You face each other in a bracket until there's a winner. If you lose, you're out. There will be a match for third place. Um, also, it's all just one match. Except for the match for third place and the finals, those will be best two out of three. So, you select your own Pokemon. Because I've mentioned that you choose your own Pokemon, but what are the real rules? Because my first match of the tournament is just choose whatever. And then those that use their favorite Pokemon, like, I don't know, Meowth, Kulava, Roselia, Zigzagoon. Those weren't going to win against the Dialgas and the Giratinas. So, the big teams won the tournament, which is to be expected. I didn't want that for the second one, so I'm going to limit you. You select your own Pokemon. You can choose any Pokemon, even Arceus, Mewtwo, that kind of stuff. Even those that cannot normally learn Metronome. You also choose ability, nickname, gender, shininess. You choose those four too. 
all Pokemon are level 50. All IVs will be 31. All EVs will be 0. All Pokemon will have a neutral nature. And all Pokemon will only have one metronome, full PP up to apply, so that's 16. You cannot choose any of the Rotom forms, Shaman Sky, or Origin Giratina, because those Pokemon didn't exist in PBR. Because PBR was made with Diamond and Pearl, uh, Heart Ghost of Silver, Platinum were out at the time, so those forms do not exist within the game. All Pokemon will hold a Lepaberry. Always. And when you select one of your uh, six character models, you must also choose a skin tone. We'll get to that once uh, once we get to the Google form and I'll show you that. All right, now to actually show the team. I'm uh, not show the team, to show how you choose the team. So, main rule, the total base stat total of your Pokemon cannot exceed 2,520 or 2,520. You cannot go beyond that. That gives you an average base stat total per Pokemon of 420. So this is around a Matang, a Mightyena, a Dragonair. That is your average. That means that if, sure, you could use a Mewtwo or an Arceus, but then you may also have to use something like a Wurmple or a Pichu on your team to compensate. I think that'll be really interesting. That'll give us some variety. Either a bunch of middle stage Pokemon or if you want to use big ones, you'll use small ones. Really depends on your strategy and what you want to do. I'll give you two example teams in just a moment. So you can you cannot use two Pokemon of the same species. So you cannot use one Wurmple and then another Wurmple. Forms count as the same species. So you cannot choose unknown A and unknown X. You cannot choose Deoxys Attack and then Deoxys Speed. But you can use different evolutions if you want. You can have Charizard and Charmeleon on the same team. Because they're different species of Pokemon. Once you've chosen your six Pokemon, they will be placed in order on the battle pass from lowest base style total to highest base style total. So if you have... Let's just use three Pokemon as a short example. If you have um, Wurmple, Dragonair, Arceus. Wurmple is easily the weakest one and Arceus is easily the strongest. Wurmple will be first because it has the lowest base stat total. Then Dragonair. Did I say Dragonair? Whatever. Then Dragonair, then Arceus. Even if you write down Arceus first in your list, Arceus will go last because it has the highest base stat total. Um, the only exception to this rule are weather summoning abilities. So any Pokemon with Draught, Drizzle, Sandstream, or Snow Warning. Those Pokemon will always go to the back of the line. So even if you have Mewtwo and Arceus on your team, which normally go right to the back, but you also have a Snover because with Snow Warning, Snover goes behind them. And if you have multiple Pokemon, like let, let's say you have Snover and a Hippowdon, Snover will go before Hippowdon because there's lower base on total. Um, the sign-up sheet. Let's take you through. Actually, no. Let's show you two examples. These are just screenshots of two example teams that I have that you could do to show you what would be possible. So as I said, your average is around where Matag, Madiana, Dragonair are. But if you want something strong, you also have to choose something weak. So this first example team starts with the weak ones. Starts with Wurmple and Silcoon, two Pokemon that aren't very strong. They're on the lower, lower and lower spectrum of the base stat totals. And let's say you also want to use a Ditto. That, those three Pokemon are well under the average of 420, so then you can go well over with your other three, choosing Gyarados, Darkrai, and the big 680 base out total Mewtwo. Second example team is more of a middle ground team. They're, they're all at or around the 420 average. Like this example team, you can see a cast form, Matang, Mighty Anna, Dragonair, all at 420. Masquerain's at 414, just a bit under. Wormadam's a bit over, with 424. You don't have to be at exactly uh, 2520 with everything combined, as long as you're at or under it. You cannot go over it. So those are two examples of teams that show either the spread or the middle ground. That it, those are ways of how you can choose your team. 
Now let's take a look at the sign-up sheet. There will be a link to this in the description of this video. So if you want to join, go to the description of this video, click on that link and fill in the questions. There's a few optional questions, but a lot you have to fill in. So first you have to enter your YouTube username. That way I just know who you are. Then your Discord username, because I would like to be able to message you like, hey, uh, the stream in which I have your match is going to happen this day. Or hey, you're the video uh, that's going to be made after the stream, because yeah, I'm going to stream all of this. That's going to come up at this day. I want to be able to message you or when something's wrong, uh, like with your team, I want to be able to inform you so you can correct it. What do you want your character's name to be? Because everyone's going to get a trainer character within PBR. What should it be called? You want to be called Bobby? You want to be called Link? You want to be called a bunch of characters that make a funny face? Up to you. Then the character model. There's six base models. I have the images here. And they all have light skin, medium dark skin, or dark skin. So this one on the bottom right is young boy. Young girl is bottom left. Cool boy is top right. Cool girl is top left. Muscle man is uh, top middle. And then little girl is bottom middle. Those are the six models that you can choose from. And then you have the different skin tones. Now Battle Revolution also offer, offers clothing options. You can choose what you want to wear. If you know Battle Revolution well, you have the game, you can look at exactly uh, what the things are called. If you want to write that down, you write it down. Uh, if you say, uh, I just want to be clothed in something red and black, you can say that too. However... If there is not something that is red or black, then I get the, I get the choice to what to replace that with. I will do my best to be as close to what you ask as possible. Also, every character can have six custom catchphrases. I am not going to allow everyone to write their full catchphrases because that just takes too much time filling them all in. So I'm all going to give them... Uh, a trainer title that is available to them that I think fits the character, fits the team, and stuff like that. But you can choose your victory catchphrase. For example, here, this is a uh, team that I used recently, I think. I'm not afraid of anyone if I fight with courage. That's their victory theme. A uh, victory uh, catchphrase. You might also just say, yay, I won. Or, you were weak. That was easy. That's something you could say. What would you like your victory catchphrase to be? So if your character wins, what do they say? Then, all of your Pokemon will be in the same variant of Pokeball. The interesting thing is, there's 16 participants, but PBR also has 16 balls available. Unfortunately, the Apricorn balls are not available, that's why they're crossed out here. This is just an image of all balls that exist within Pokemon. But the Apricorn balls don't exist in PBR. Neither does a Sport Ball, the Park Ball, and then Dream and Beast Ball are later generations anyway. So you have Pokeball, Grape Ball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball, Safari Ball, Premier Ball, Repeat Ball, Timer Ball, Nest Ball, Net Ball, Dive Ball, Luxury Ball, Heal Ball, Quick Ball, Dusk Ball, and Cherish Ball. With 16 participants, I want all 16 balls to be available as well. All, diff all of them should be in use. So one person will have the Pokeball, one person will have the Master Ball for all Pokemon, one person will have all their Pokemon in the Cherish Ball, one person will have them all in the Dive Ball, etc, etc. So this question is actually there three times. So you can choose the top three. So let's say your favorite one is Master Ball, but someone that signed up before you already had the Master Ball. Then you get your second choice, which might be the Cherish Ball. And then also your third choice in case the second one also doesn't work. If the third one doesn't work because maybe you're late sign up and you chose something other people wanted as well, I will message you using your Discord username that you provided earlier on in the Google form. And then I'll let you know what options you still have. It's going to be a first come first serve on this. So, the first person that signs up, if they choose a netball, no one else can choose a netball. Well, they, they might still fill it in, but no one, I know at that point that no one will get it. Now, this is the important bit. What six Pokemon would you like on your team? And remember, you could choose Pokemon that can't normally learn Metrodome. That means Caterpie, that means Mewtwo, that can mean Arceus. Any of the 493 Pokemon that you want to have on your team, you can. Just keep within that 2,520 total. Something I did while building my team is I just went on Google, typed in calculator, use that calculator. Um, you can calculate it in your head, but I recommend using something like a calculator, either online or in your hand, to make sure you remember the numbers correctly. 
Uh, something that can help with it is I, I put a link here to this page. Which is the list of Pokemon by base stats. Unfortunately, the Generation 5 Pokemon are in here too. Uh, so ignore those. Obviously, you can't use them. If you then filter on total, or uh, sort them on total, you get with, start with the weakest one, Sun Curve, and then Zero Quick Attack. All the way down to Arceus. Now, this is a way you can check. So, let's say you just really want Nidoking on your team. You just F3, search, Nidoking, 495. And then you have your 2,520 total, minus uh, 495. And then let's say you also want um, Elekid, oh, 360, minus 360. And then you can figure out from there what you still have left. And if you uh, know what your averages can be. As long as you stay within the 2,520 total, it's all legal. I like to have a variety of teams. I like to have a bunch of different Pokemon a team that has a Wurmple in it might win the tournament just because they have they're lucky and it's balanced. I, I like that. It's not just oh someone used Rayquaza and Ho Oh and Lugia they're gonna win. Next question is to make sure you stay within the limit. What is the combined base out of your Pokemon? Maybe you've already calculated that during the previous question, but I want to make sure that I'm yeah I am forcing you to, to count it all together again. But at least. That way, if you are at, let's say, 2,530, you notice it then, and I don't have to message you about it. It's more to save us both that uh, that time, that annoyance later on. Now, your Pokemon can have a nickname. Well, you want your nickname to be max 10 characters. You could have already filled it in in the big what Pokemon you want in your team question. If you did that, no need. So, Pokemon nickname... What ability do you want? If the Pokemon only has one ability, obviously you're going to get just the one. Like Gyarados always has Intimidate. Um, but if there's two options, uh, like Nidoking has Rivalry and Poison Point, which one do you want? Uh, same for gender. What do you want as the Pokemon's gender? Very few times will only come into play. Like from, for Attract and Captivate, I guess, and some Pokemon look a little different. Like Dodo, Dodrio, Hippowdon. Uh... Scizor, that's about it, really. Um, but if you want to choose, let's say you want an all-female team, you can choose that. Do you want your Pokemon to be shiny? Um, if so, which ones? Let's say you have a Spiritomb on your team, you only want Spiritomb to be team. Say, I want Spiritomb to be shiny. The rest should not be shiny. Specify which ones you don't want to be shiny as well, because if you don't mention it, I can choose. If you skip this question, which is allowed... I can choose which ones are shiny or not. If you don't want any shinies, write, I don't want shinies, or something like that. And then finally, do you have any other notes or questions that you want to share with Alka, which is me? Uh, and that can just be, I'm excited for the tournaments, but also maybe there's something that isn't clear. Um, or you have a qu or something you want to ask about the streams. Just say it, ask it, and I'll try to get back to you. So that is how you sign up. Uh, one more and one more way, I guess, to look at the base stat totals if you don't want to use this list. Um, if you just go to a Bulbapedia page for the Pokemon, just this is Butterfree. Scroll down a bit so near the middle you get a box like here at the bottom. That is what you're looking for. It says total 385. That's a base stat total for Butterfree. Do know that some Pokemon did change their base stat totals a bit. Generation 6, I believe. Butterfree is an example. That's why I have it open. Make sure you find the one that's Generation 4. So, no Roman numerals, that's IV. Generations 1 through 5. The top one here is Butterfree's base stat total. Use the top one through 8.5 for his base stat total, not the 3.95 for later. Alright, so. Longer video than I expected. Sorry about that. So, link is in the description for the sign-up sheet. First come, first serve. So, if you're number 17 that signs up, unfortunately, you cannot participate. Um, my intention is to stream the entire tournament. Usually, I would stream on Twitch, but especially with Battle Revolution, I want to do that on uh, YouTube because a lot of my PBR people are there. Maybe they don't have to, they want to go, to, don't want to go to Twitch. And I think, especially for PBR, streaming on YouTube is a good idea. I haven't really figured out how to do the different stream keys and switch between Twitch and YouTube yet. But I'll look into it. Um, we're going to have fun. 
I intend to stream this entire thing on YouTube with a bunch of battles in the same one. Have commentary over it. Normally, Battle Revolution videos don't have commentary. About uh, the tournament, I think I do want that. I think that'll be exciting. And then, yeah, like then afterwards, after like a YouTube stream has happened with the entire tournament, it's gonna be separate videos like normal, and they'll be scheduled over the next weeks and months, probably well into my uh, vacation December January as well. But I will, I will, in terms of live streams, I intend to have all the videos done before I leave. So. You want to join? Go to the description, fill in the form. If you have any questions, write them in the comments, and I'll try to answer as quick and as clearly as possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the tournament. Good luck.